Happy Tuesday, everybody. Okay, so today we're going to continue what we worked on yesterday. And today's learning goal is I can use fraction and decimal multiplication to express equivalent measurement. So what does that mean? That means that we can take a fraction, let's say, one-seventh, because one day is one-seventh of a week, and multiply it times a whole number to get an equivalent measurement. So that'll make more sense when you see our examples. Okay, so if we have 14 days, and we want to figure out how many weeks that is, but we don't want to divide, we want to multiply, we're going to have to figure out how many, what fraction of a week one day is. So I have 14 days equals blank weeks. I have 14 days equals 14 times one day. And how many, um, so our two factors, I'm sorry, our two factors are going to be 14 and one day. But let me say, let's see if I can convert that one day into a fraction. So a fraction of one week, one day is one seventh of a week. So I would have 14 times one seventh and 14 times one seventh equals 14 sevenths, and to simplify that fraction, I get 2. So 14 days equals 2 weeks. Now, this number right here is called a conversion factor because that's the number we're using to convert our measurement from one unit type to another. So it's called the conversion factor. Okay, let's keep going. So our next example is 24 feet equals how many yards? So again, I have 24 feet can be renamed as 24 times one foot. How many feet are in a yard? There are three feet in one yard. So I can also rename this as 24 times one third yard. So it's one third of a yard. And when I multiply that, 24 times one third is 24 thirds yard, which 24 over 3, 24 thirds, equals 8 holes. So 24 feet equals 8 yards. I hope you're still with me. For this problem, I'm going to convert 24 quarts into gallons. So again, I renamed 24 quarts as 24 times 1 quart. Now, I happen to know that there are four quarts in one gallon, so if I want to rename this with a fraction, I would have 24 times one-fourth gallons, so that equals 24 fourths gallons, and 24 fourths is equal to six holes or six so this is six gallons miss walker can't spell all right so we have 24 quarts equals six gallons this next set of problems is going to be metric units don't panic we can do this so i have 195 centimeters and i want to convert that to meters so 195 centimeters is the same as 195 times 1 centimeter. Well, how many centimeters are in a meter? We talked about this yesterday. There are 100 centimeters in a meter. So I can use the decimal notation for 100th 
and say 195 centimeters is 195 times one hundredth of a meter. So when I multiply times 100, I have to put my, I move all my numbers to the right on my place value chart to places. So this would equal 1 and 95 hundredths meters. Okay, I hope you're still with me. So our next problem is grams to kilograms. So 4,500 grams equals how many kilograms? 4,500 grams is the same as 4,500 times 1 gram, which also equals 4,500 times 1 thousandth of a kilogram. When I multiply times a thousandth, I have to move everything three place values to the right on my place value chart, which means my decimal is going to go between my four and my five. So I have four and five tenths kilograms. You could say four and five hundred thousandths, but that's a mouthful, and at four and five tenths is the same equivalent measurement. So this next problem, again, it's still metric measurements. 578 milliliters equals how many liters? So remember, a milliliter is one thousandth of a liter. So 578 milliliters equals 578 times one milliliter. And that's going to be the same as 578 times one thousandth of a liter. And when I multiply by a thousand, remember I said I have to move everything three place values to the right on my place value chart. So one thousandth times 578 is going to give me 578 thousandths liters. So it's 0 decimal 5, 7, 8. Awesome. You guys are doing great. Now my last problem is converting cups to pints. I have 16 cups, and I want to figure out how many pints that is. So 16 times 1 cup. There are 2 cups in 1 pint, so one of those is equal to half a pint. So I have 16 times 1 half pints, which equals 16 halves, which equals 8 pints, because 1 half of 16 is 8. So I have 16 cups equals 8 pints. So you guys did great following along with that. I hope you wrote them down as we went along. If not, go back and write some of them down so you can remember exactly what we were doing and use them as examples when you do your problem set in Seesaw. Have a great day.